I don't call this plan, you know, B, I call this plan A because, <laughs> you know, the past administration focused on bringing in a casino. Well, what do we do if we don't get the casino? Um, I know we have to give residents hope, but we also have to show residents that we have a way out of where we are. And that's focusing on Revokes Mall. And you'll see, you know, we have a lot of great uh, industry and a lot of great people in Cayman City. We, would, we want to provide them and start getting boots on the grounds and start getting construction going this year. We don't want to wait till next year. Next year is too late, in my, my opinion. Well, the vision is, we're engaging a gentleman who has a, a indoor racetrack, almost like a, a speedway. And it's indoor racing. Um, that's my vision for, for this site. Yeah, we get 2.8 million people traveling 159th Street in Torrance you know, a month that we need to bring in to these spaces. So we want to make this an entertainment destination uh, and looking at making River Oaks Mall a mixed-use facility as well. Right. So part of what we what I gave you with the Just the Magic plan is to fill this up, right. to make the greenery and all the empty spaces that we have, make sure that we use it right. And when we start building it, the residents know that they can come here for an entertainment destination. Just like you saw the empty River Oaks Mall, we'll, this used to be a thriving area. I know. Sturks and a bunch of other businesses. Yeah, and this is a uh, this is this is uh, driving past this and what it used to be is not where we need to be. When I was walking the community, one of the major things that six ward residents said and fifth ward residents said is that they want a grocery store here. Right. And this is the perfect place to put a grocery store, right. to reimagine this, to do mixed use housing, mm -hmm. uh, to build these outlots out, sort of like what we're gonna do. Uh, to River Oaks Mall, but this is a continuation right. of having uh, not only businesses along this area develop, mm -hmm. but developing this area into an area where residents are going to come to. Right. Um, so if we start off with a grocery store and whatever else can get attached to it, we need to have that anchor. Right. Uh, grocery store says gas station, mm -hmm. so some of the companies I've been in started discussions with was Amazon, mm -hmm. Uh, Mariano's, we still have to continue that discussion, okay. but they would fit perfect here in this area. That was the number one thing that residents wanted to see back here. Because of course, our only grocery store is Pete's, right. but then between here right. and you have to go to Strack and Van Til, right. and I don't believe it's another grocery store on 159th Street. You see all these vacant land, right. and the city was tearing down all of these homes right. and had no plans to redevelop this. Mm -hmm. So what we're, what we're imagining is putting in and making this area a PUD, a plan unit development, mm -hmm. which gives us IDA credit so we can build new houses. Okay. So we take the entryway into here, and as Val talked about, mm -hmm. uh, even on Wentworth Avenue, and we put businesses, uh, Starbucks, we put mm -hmm. a business and then a condo at the top of it and, mm -hmm. and anchor that uh, with new homes inside of all of here. As you can see, there's a, abandoned buildings all over in, all over in this area. Okay. So these were slated for, for being torn down, just like the city tore down all the rest of them. Right. So if we, if we make this, you know, the area, the comeback area, mm -hmm. And then it allows us to do other things uh, in other parts of Cayman City. Good. Well, this area, of course, I mean, we had plans a long time ago to take this, take this building and build a new public works building. So if you look at what we have here at Public Works, it stretches into the neighborhood. We want to move this junkyard, if we can, away from the neighborhood. And this is prime property for a development. Right. We want to put a community center here. Oh, okay. And also put like a daycare. One of the owners expressed interest in joining the city in a public-private partnership okay. to take this and reimagine it. Mm -hmm. I mean, this building been here for years, but yeah. we can take this and move it on Marble Street. 
We can take this and move it in other parts okay. and get this valuable asset back and make make it look better for the neighborhood. Okay. I mean, because residents, when they come out, <laughs> first thing they see right. is the, all these holes and these right. lumps, and they've cleaned it up a little, Yeah. but it still looks like this. Yeah, okay. And, and part of us doing this is, if you look, let me show you over here. You can see all of this up here and see really how this looks from a view right. of changing this area and making sure that we have a community center that all of this can go to and then we can deal with the stuff that's going on in Smiley Plaza. Make this area more resident friendly right. just by taking this, this asset and changing it.